Today I uh, fill up the coolant and uh, add in another pump for the cooling system, put on the chain and the uh, resisting parts that was missing. So now it's completely finished and I am, am about to make a test run with it. And uh, I also would like to promote my next project, which is going to be an uh, upgrade of the electrical snowcross. I'm going to rebuild the whole frame and uh, yes, almost everything is going to be a new one. I'm going to make a monotrack and uh, a copy of Nextech uh, skid. That's going to be an inspiring project and I also will uh, make it a bit different. I will take it part by part and make a more pedagogic way. So if you are interested and have the skills, you maybe can uh, build your own. Yes! Now we're going to make a test one. separated uh, the cells in, in three packs so it's uh, eight cells in each block and I separated them with uh, masonite boards and I connected each row of uh, eight cells with uh, six square millimeter wires and that is total 24 so it will handle uh, 400 amp now I only want to connect uh, the BMS I have to shorten this wire, this is for cell 24 and I also measured each voltage between each cell so this is connected correctly uh, I made a battery box out of aluminum as I cut and put the plywood at sides and uh, had some uh, glue between and the screws screwed all together but it was tight I have to uh, grind grind it so I have to squeeze it in the frame of the motorcycle now I have the box in position and uh, <coughs> I try to fit the, the wiring as best as possible and uh, I need to put this uh, battery tester coolometer so I can see uh, what kind of amperage the uh, engine, the motor draws. So uh, I was first I was trying to put it inside, but it's uh, a bit crowded because I have to make this box as small as possible so I can fit it into the, the frame. So now I'm gonna try to put this outside here and uh, put it in some kind of enclosure 
Then I also got the, this wire to the, the negative side of the controller. Going to be quite nice, I think. And here I can drill some uh, fixing points for the cable and for the, the, the shunt. Uh, I'm going to try to fit it like that. Now I have the main contactor in position and also fitted the pre-charge resistor. And now I have connected the wire for the charging. So I'm going to try out if I can see uh, if I can get it charging. Well, it seems to be working. The charging. 86.9 volts and charging 5.6, 5.5 amps. Great! Well, now I've done the wiring and uh, also programmed the controller via this uh, tab. And uh, it's working. and tidy and then I'm gonna do some uh, do the rest of the fitting of the plastic and uh, also the hoses for the cooling system then it's time for testing